Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if it's your first time. If it is your first time, please like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Check out some of the other library. Um, but I would enjoy it if you like and subscribe, help build the channel. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the SP-101. This is a uh, Ruger. It is a 357 Magnum revolver. Haven't done a lot of wheel guns in the past, so I thought I would cover at least one of my favorites uh, for a small little uh, revolver. So stick around, we'll take a little closer look on a tabletop and we'll go over review and overview of it. Alright, so let's talk about the Ruger SP-101. This is a double action, single action revolver obviously with a five round capacity this isn't 357 magnum though they do make them in other uh calibers as well they make them in 327 federal nine millimeter uh 22 long rifle 38 special this happens to be the 357 magnum version and it's uh, all stainless steel it's a very heavy handgun weighing in about 26 ounces i'll put a bunch of specs here in the video as well so if you're interested in it uh, so it is a heavy handgun uh, to start right off it is not lightweight it's not uh, going to be your best pocket carry per se uh, but if you're carrying on a hip or something like that this is a very small form factor it'll fit very nicely it, it conceals very easily you're not going to really want to pocket carry this. You're not going to want to put it in a uh, an ankle holster necessarily, but it's heavy. So when you're shooting 357 Magnum, that weight really helps in mitigating that recoil that comes from 357 Magnum. Um, the other nice thing about it is you can shoot 38 Special in it because it's 357 magnum you can now also shoot 38 special in here and that's great for practicing cheaper planking those kind of things uh, but when you're ready for self-defense and if you want to carry this that 357 magnum is a, a very potent round all right so let's take a little bit just kind of walk through it a little bit start with the grips these are rubber grips that come on it they're not very bad they're actually pretty nice actually um, you do have these little cutouts here where you can get some different models that, and you can buy aftermarket as well. But you can buy little replacements in here if you wanted a wood finish or something like that. And there's a lot of other aftermarket grips for the SP-101, um, even oversized rubber grips, things like that. Nice wooden grips if you like that, like I do. Um, I love the wood with the stainless steel, so that would be a nice addition as well. Um, and I may go there in the near future. Uh, but if we look at the gun overall, it's very, clean it's very nicely done um, it's a ruger so it's overbuilt when you compare these two say a smith and wesson the rugers are always heavy they're overbuilt for what they are but again shooting when you're shooting something like 357 magnum it's awesome because it really mitigates that recoil it is double action single action so it does have a pretty heavy double action pull it's smooth but it's heavy um, single action very light very manageable very crisp, very easy to shoot. Uh, so if you're looking at accuracy, when you pull that hammer back and you have that single action, you can already see how far back it is. You don't have very far to pull to get that trigger to drop. And it's not very heavy, it's very clean and crisp. Uh, checkering on the hammer is very nice. It gives you a nice wide pad for your checkering to really get your thumb on there and pull that back. Depending on however you do it, it's easy to pull back. Uh, there is a safety block in here. So you have a firing pin, excuse me, firing pin safety block that rises up in there. That allows you to carry all five rounds. If you think about the old single action revolvers, they may have carry six rounds, but you can never put the hammer down because they used to have a firing pin here on the hammer. And if you set that down on that live round on the open ch on one of the chambers, and you drop the gun or something happened, something hit that hammer, it would fire that round. With these safety pin blocks, you can actually now. Uh, keep all five rounds in there and be safely. To open up the cylinder, it's a button press here, pops the cylinder open. You got a five round capacity there as well. Uh, your ejector works just fine, pops those babies right out of there every time you use it. I've never had any issues with them catching or anything like that. It works very well. Uh, moving forward, it's a complete full underlug. Again, that adds a little bit more weight to it uh, but it makes it very clean as well it is a two and a quarter inch barrel uh, so it's a fairly short barrel but it 
it's weighted very nicely for that 357 Magnum again it's wonderful sights the rear sights you're going to see are uh, more of a, a gunnel they're built in Let's see if we can get some better light on it uh, but basically just a little gunnel there that runs through that uh, opens up to the front sight where you have a ramp sight post up in the front it does have some checkering on it as well to uh, reduce any glare on that front sight post that you might have this is pinned so that means you can actually remove this site there's plenty of aftermarket sites out there if you're looking for fiber optics or something like that uh, this can be replaced with a nice fiber optic site so overall it's a very clean handgun very nicely built uh, the finish on it, there's no sharp edges on it, uh, short of the hammer here where you're stippling, but even that, there's nothing sharp along the edges. It does fit the hand very nicely. Uh, it's got a nice angle, a nice point to it. So again, if you're carrying this on a hip, the weight doesn't really matter. Um, it's a great firearm. It does conceal very, very nicely because of the size. Revolvers always have a little bit nicer, in my opinion, uh, concealability. If you're carrying like on your hip or your five o'clock position, uh, four or five o'clock, it, it really hides that grip a lot, a lot better. You can get some oversized grips for these. It's not a very wide handgun. It does spill out a little bit here in the in the cylinder, uh, but it's nothing you can't hide. Um, and revolvers usually hide pretty well. Um, that cylinder you tucks in along the belt where you tighten up your belt, so it doesn't make it um, stick out as much. But overall, the build quality is very good. Ruger's known for overbuilding their revolvers. The lockup, if you're actually looking for revolvers, I bought this used. So if you're looking at uh, used revolvers, things like that, or even just new revolvers, you can always check the lockup, how well that cylinder locks. Once it's cocked, that cylinder doesn't move at all. So it lines up perfectly with your barrel. If you have a lot of slop in there or play in there, that's when you get problems with revolvers. Uh, but they you know it, it is few and far between it does take some work to really do that to good revolvers and ruger is a great revolver and has been known to build great revolvers so i'll roll in some footage here just of me shooting the sp 101 get some idea of uh 357 magnum because that's what i was shooting out of this and you can see how the recoil reacts uh to this gun again being as heavy as it is at 26 ounces that's a pretty heavy handgun for something this size so check it out um, and then we'll wrap it up here after that specify it later um, i'm going to do six rounds of 38 special and then another six rounds of 357 so you can see the difference Okay, so that's just a quick review and overview of the SP-101. This is a great little revolver. It is a 357 Magnum. It's not lightweight by any means, so throwing in your pocket may be difficult. Uh, but if you want to keep it on your hip, it's very small to keep compact. Uh, the weight is actually very nice because you're shooting 357 Magnum. So having a little bit heavier handgun is going to help with that recoil. Um, but it's great for personal defense if you want to practice with 38 Special and carry 357 Magnum. This is a great little handgun to do it. Uh, it's a very robust, good handgun. If you get a chance to shoot one, take the opportunity, try it out. Uh, try it with 357 Magnum as well. You'll find that even for a small handgun like this, it shoots very, very well. Um, until we see you again, happy shooting. If you have any comments or if you have any uh, background in the SP-101s, please put the comments below, help other people out that may be looking at some kind of small revolver or this particular model. And if you'd like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot and we'll talk to you again soon.